Welcome back to Technique Quad. You can find us at barbellstrug.com. Again, my name is Doug Larson. If you haven't seen our videos before, today we're going to do GHD sit-ups with that guy right there. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Uh, we're going to go through a progression though. So uh, GHD sit-ups are a tough movement for people that are just getting into CrossFit. Um, they tend to make you very, very sore if you're not ready for them. So we're going to start with a short progression. Uh, the thing I like to do first uh, for the kind of level one progression for a GHD sit-up is just to do a straight leg sit-up. So I'm here, I would reach overhead, ribs down, and then I would just do a full sit-up where I'm sitting all the way up just like this. Right. Touch overhead and come all the way up. If you're a high level athlete, that's a pretty easy one. Level two uh, for a GHC sit-up is to do almost the same thing where you come out flat. And I'll show that here in just a second. But before I do, I want to talk a little bit about um, your mechanics on uh, the GHC sit-up. So we're going to go into, excuse me, I will demo one real quick. Just in case you are brand new and you don't know what the hell I'm talking about. So the level two one looks like this, okay? Just kind of like, almost like a halfway. And then level three would be where you come all the way super extended, you touch the ground, and then you come all the way up. Some people like to lock their knees out on the way up. They come here and then they like to shoot their knees straight and pop up like that. And that's a great technique too. So that's what a GHC sit-up looks like. Um, what I want to point out though is to be in that very globally extended position, um, that's okay um, if you have a few things in place. You want to be extended through here with my butt squeezed. That's that from the side is rolling my pelvis backwards. Now my pelvis has an angle like this, which is good for my spine. If my pelvis, if my butt's not squeezed together, and my pelvis is rolled forward like this. Now my pelvis is tilted forward. My spine has to curve all the way like that. And my spine ends up in a very hyper extended position. So if I go into global extension and I don't kind of keep my ribs down and I don't squeeze my butt, then I'm going to end up like this. If I have tight hip flexors uh, and poor shoulder mobility, then I'll probably end up like this. Okay? So that's going to be super hard on my back and I don't want to do that. So I want to squeeze my butt. So when I come here and I go down, I want to squeeze my butt and keep my ribs down like this. Squeeze my butt super hard and at this level two progression, I can come up just like this, keep my ribs down. If you, if you follow K-Star, it's kind of two-hand rule here. Where I'm here, I'm not really breaking at my core. I'm not hyperextending like this. And that might look the same as the level three progression, but this with my butt squeezing my ribs down, getting, getting shoulder flexion, reaching for the ground here, is different than when I break and I come like that, okay, which hurts just to uh, just a demo for you. So always butt squeeze and ribs down. Um, again, if you're a person that's very new to GHD sit-ups, you probably want to ease into that movement by trying the uh, level one and level two variations, getting that, excuse me, getting that big global extension reach, stretching everything through here, and then decelerating at the bottom movement, kind of bouncing back up, will make you very sore. So if you're a person, again, that's new, you probably want to ease into that by doing, you know, the first day, maybe just do like three sets of five and then see how you feel. If, you, if you've never done anything like that, you, you've never put that muscle through that range of motion, you never had to decelerate at high speed at the end of that range of motion in that fully muscle lengthened position and then had to contract from that position, then even three sets of five probably is going to make you very, very sore. So um, start out with something very light like that. Don't do it in a Metcon. Do it as strength working to see how you feel. Uh, we've had people get sore for two or three or even longer weeks in a row uh, because they, they went way over the top and did way more than they probably should have. They learned their lesson. Nothing really bad happened, but um, it's probably not a good thing. So you want to ease into that rather than jumping in uh, full bore. Um, if you're a person that has a hyperextension type injury with, their, with your back, your person that every time you go to squat you go and you extend like this first and you're starting to get you know achiness right here in the middle of your back uh, then even if you're doing this movement correctly it still can be a little bit hard uh, on your back so it might not be the best movement for you you might uh, be better off doing um, core type training similar to the technique quad series that we did earlier where it's more anti-movement rather than producing uh, hyperextension and then and then flexion at the top 
um, at the at the hips um, and at the uh, at your trunk, especially around your lumbar spine. So there's other more conservative options out there for you if you're a person that has uh, a back problem of of any kinds. But that's an individual case thing. You're gonna have to try that on your own and just kind of see how it feels. But if your back hurts after doing a couple of GAC sit-ups, uh, maybe it's not the best movement for you uh, at the time. So uh, if you have more questions about GAC sit-ups or anything else, you can go to barbershrug.com, click the, click the ask a question tab at the top of the page and you can ask us a question by filling out that very short survey. If you like this video or any of our other videos, make sure to share it on your Facebook wall by clicking share and then the Facebook icon and then also like it. Thanks, Truck Thugs.